so a package arrived today from Nova Scotia, Canada. It's the turbocharger off of Chloe's CB750. So today I'm going to rebuild her turbocharger. And what's cool about turbochargers, once you have the experience and the skill working on these, you can transfer all that knowledge and work on basically any turbo, regardless of size, like this one off of my Honda Civic. I need to remove the wastegate actuator, which is just one clip and two nuts. And these clips pry off with just a regular screwdriver. Now on these Canadian turbos, a lot of the nuts and screws are metric, so make sure you use the right tools. And because the turbo can be clocked 360 degrees, I want to make sure that it's set up correctly in relation to the exhaust, the intake, and the oil lines. I'm going to make an index mark here on the turbine and right here on the compressor. And now I have clear reference marks for proper reassembly. To remove the turbine housing, there are just four bolts that hold housing clamps together. And the two clamps are basically partial C's that just hold it together with these four little screws. And it's pretty stuck, so just tap it lightly with a screwdriver handle and it should come apart. The seals were definitely blown on the turbine side as well because you can see all the buildup of burned oil, especially on the inside of the turbine housing itself. So to remove the compressor from the backing plate in the center section, the first thing you have to do is remove these six bolts that hold these clamps on to get at the compressor wheel. all of the screws and clamps out just tap the center section until it lifts out of the compressor. You have to remove this nut to get the compressor wheel off and before you can extract the shaft. But typically on nuts and bolts it's lefty loosey righty tighty but on this nut it's actually a left-handed thread and it's threaded that way so when the turbo spins the centrifugal force keeps the nut tight if it was a standard thread, spinning would actually loosen the nut and it would fly off. So on left-handed nuts, make sure you use left-handed vice grips. And with the nut removed, the wheel slides right off. And you can slide the turbine wheel and shaft directly out of the housing. To remove the compressor back plate from the housing, there's these four security screws. Those are some weird looking screws. Plate will pop right off the housing. So that's the thrush washer and this is the piston seal. Clip, there's actually a little seal ring in there. So this little ring here is what's probably leaking oil into the compressor. And just lift the thrust washer out and make sure not to lose the little mushroom piston that's in behind it. That's right there journal bearings in the center and you can actually take a finger and stick it in the turbo and push it out from the other side and then you can pull it right out. So this is the bearing surface on the shaft and you can see in this groove there is actually supposed to be another seal ring in there and it's completely missing. Probably wore out and broke and that's why all the oil has been dumping into this side of the turbo too. So now I just need to start cleaning up stuff before reassembly. These large housings I'm just going to take inside and run through my wife's dishwasher. It's really just like a cast iron pot with baked on goo, so the machine will make quick work of those. The thrust washer, the journal bearings, the seals, the pistons, and all this stuff for the wear items that need to be replaced. I never take a chance. I just replace everything as a set. Just to clean the wheels and the shaft in my supersonic cleaner. That looks badass. I have my housings and plates and everything out of the dishwasher turned out very nice. Okay, what's important is the inside is clean, dry, and pristine for reassembly. 
I use only genuine Garrett rebuild parts. I really like their kits because it comes with all the seals and the rings and the bushings and the cones and the plunge. The first thing is to give everything a good coating of assembly grease. Drop in the new journal bearing. Then install the new oil valve. Then the mushroom for the thrust washer. Then slide the main shaft back through the bearing housing. Then slip the thrust collar over the shaft. And install the new thrust bushing. And on the underside of the compressor plate, install the new seal piston. Slip the compressor plate onto the center housing over the shaft. And then carefully tighten the compressor plate screws. And reinstall the compressor wheel. Use white Loctite on the compressor nut. Remember, this is the nut that tightens anti-clockwise and make sure to tighten it to the correct number of torques. Then reinstall the center bearing section back onto the turbine housing and make sure you remember your reference mark so that it's clocked in the correct orientation. Install the two brackets and tighten the screws. Note the clocking index and reinstall the compressor housing. And then tighten it down using the little bolts with clamps. Then the last thing to go on is the wastegate actuator. Badass, so that's how you rebuild a turbo. I'll get this mail back to you tomorrow morning along with five out of five Ichiban Moto stickers. Subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos.